We're now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars, Craig Hunter. Coach Hunter, a long week of preparation for your team as you played last Thursday. Now your team gets to play Saturday against Spring Valley. What's been the preparation? Uh, well, it's been a little hard preparation right now because of the heat index. So, you know, We're just trying to figure out how we can get practice in and be able to practice with pads on and get everything accomplished with the heat index the way it is the last couple of days. Um, I think having a Saturday gave, gave us an extra day yesterday um, to be able to install and walk through some stuff and get things done. Um, today's a little bit tougher with the heat index, so we're going to probably we're going to try to practice a little later on in the evening once it once the heat advisory lets up a little bit. So I mean, that's our that's our game plan for this week, and hopefully the rain will stay away or the, or the storms will stay away enough that we won't have any lightning or thunder that we can actually get out. Um, Thursday and Friday. The Spring Valley team coming in 0 and 2 uh, after playing some tough teams. They're going to obviously have to play another tough team in your team. So uh, probably some extra motivation for them. Also, of you guys beating them last year, what's kind of your team's mindset heading into this one, knowing that they'll be kind of desperate for a win? Uh, you know, same thing as you know with us. You know, we're kind of you know we lost one last week, so we're kind of desperate to get back on the the winning track too. So. Um, you know, I've, ta- I've talked to the kids about, uh, you know, they're 0-2. They're going to come in here hungry, looking for a win. They're going to be looking for redemption of last year's playoff loss. So there's a lot of things that, you know, I've already I've already ingrained in the kids' heads about what's going to happen, what they're going to come in here trying to do. Um, so we've already talked about all that. Hopefully the kids will be stay focused, be ready to go, um, and hopefully we can pull out a win on Saturday. Coach, as we kind of touched on, your team took on Spring Valley in the playoffs last year, had to go down to their place, and now they get to come up to your place with revenge on their mind. A very tough-nosed football team, run first team. Uh, Just talk about the preparation and getting your kids ready for that kind of game. Well, um, they're still somewhat a run first football team, but they'll spread it out now. Um, So they're going to run a little bit of a spread uh, Two by two, three by one. Um, they got some key guys they want to get the ball to. Um, the Abercrombie kid um, is a heck of an athlete. Uh, we want to know where he is at all the time when he's on the field. Uh, their quarterback uh, is a dual threat kid. He can throw the ball a little bit. Um, so you're going to probably see a little different Spring Valley team than what we've seen in the past couple years as far as just what we've seen on film. They haven't been just the ground and pound Spring Valley. Uh, they spread you out, and they'll still run the ball, but they'll spread you out and try to do it to get – I guess the the athletes they have, they try to give them in space a little bit. So with those changes for them, uh, how does that kind of change, I guess, your guys' game plan opposed to what you had last year? You could probably, if they were still running some of the same stuff, you could use a lot of the same stuff again, but now you'll have to adjust to what they've changed. Oh, well, you know, year to year anyway, I mean, you never think somebody's going to be doing the same exact stuff and then, you might, we might not be doing the same exact stuff. We got different personnel, different kids that we have on the team, so you know you, you tweak and turn, change some things a little bit based on your personnel anyway. So, um, you know, as far as seeing somebody's going to go foot to foot, ground and pound, um, we're used to seeing more or less teams that run spread. So, I mean, it makes it it makes it somewhat, I guess, game planning wise, it's somewhat right down our alley because we see spread all the time around here. So we don't see a lot of ground and pound football like that. Um, so game planning wise, we already have an idea of what we want to do. Now we just got to base it off on how they, how they run their plays, how they do things, what their tendencies are, uh, things of that nature. And that's how we go defensively off of the, off of that. Switching over to the offensive side of things. What have you seen from their defense that you're looking to exploit with your offense? Um, you know, their defense is, is going to be, you know, I'm not going to give too much secrets away, but their defense is somewhat, somewhat the same as what we saw last year. Um, they will, they run a three stack, uh, but they never sit, they never just sit in the three stack in a traditional three stack. So their guys are moved all over the place in the three stack. So we just got to know where certain elements of their line and linebackers are, so we can run the plays that we have set and game plan to run. Uh, we just got to stay focused and keyed into that as coaches to make sure we put the kids in the right situations. They're still going to uh, play um, off of the corner spot a lot. They typically play um, somewhere between 7 to 10 yards off at times. And they, may, they may come and press once in the blue moon, but they're usually sitting at least 7 yards off um, at the corner position. So, you know, we just got to 
find find the find the openings and take take advantage of the openings that they want to give us during the course of the game. Coach, in both of your games so far this season, your team had a lead and then uh, kind of allowed the other team to get back into the game. And, and last week it hurt you to a loss. Um, how big of a concern is that for you? And are you emphasizing to the team to try to finish these games uh, moving forward? Uh, well, it's it's a it's a big problem. If you think about it, you know we've had two games. Uh, one we won, one we lost in triple overtime, where we had the lead and and lock in it. You know the the key thing is is finish the fight. You know this week we're, we're going to emphasize that finish the fight. You know the, if you go back to both games, the, the struggle has been scoring in the second half. So the main thing for the offense is, is to is to continue to score in the second half and put points on the board in the second half. Um, as teams make adjustments defensively, we need to make sure we're continually making our adjustments offensively and don't overthink stuff and just continually put points on the board. All righty, Coach Hunter, thank you for the time and good luck on Saturday against Spring Valley. All right, thank you.